How could it happen? That's the question at the heart of a high-profile malpractice lawsuit filed after a patient caught fire at TriStar Centennial Medical Center in Nashville. News Channel 5's Nick Barris obtained a copy of the death certificate and tonight shares new details that raise questions about the conduct of the hospital staff. The question of how is really the key here. A patient bursting into flames is thankfully rare. The why is important to prevent it from happening again. What happened at TriStar Centennial Medical Center was terrible. They were all over that room. I mean, there were like 10 to 12 people and it just blew and they started patting him down and I saw his hand and I was on fire. And I was saying like, put him out or something like that. It was Thanksgiving day last year. Kathy Stark says her husband, Bobby Ray, was a cardiac patient. He was hospitalized with an oxygen mask when staff activated a defibrillator to try to restore a regular heartbeat. They put the pads on him. They leave the mask on him, which is set to 100% oxygen, push the shock button. They see a spark literally run up the wires onto the patient's chest. He catches on fire. Bobby Ray did not survive. The medical examiner found a combination of cardiovascular disease and thermal burns as the cause of death. So how did it happen? They were telling her that there was a faulty wire in one of the pads, which caused a spark, which caused his oxygen to explode. In the lawsuit, malpractice attorney Clint Kelly argues it was not an equipment malfunction, but a mistake by the staff for not removing the mask and turning off the oxygen before shocking the heart. That the cloud of oxygen around his body turned the spark into flames. How did they not know to remove this mask? Because it's something so standard. So the question for me as a, as a lawyer investigating this, was there sufficient training? Centennial has yet to respond directly to the lawsuit, but in a statement, the hospital did say it was reviewing the care provided to the patient and the functionality of the equipment. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thank you, Nick. The Stark family suing not only on behalf of Bobby Ray, who died, but also for his wife, Kathy, who witnessed the entire frightening ordeal.